Good morning. The following presentations are on water, Seattle, and the Puget Sound region. Pay attention. Pay attention. So you're sitting there, you're tired, you're bored, you're probably thinking about uh, Puget Sound. Yeah, that's funny, because that's just what this video is about. So, sit back, relax, and we're going to pass the time talking about Puget Sound. Now, Puget Sound was formed about, what, about two and a half million years ago, give or take uh, half a million, at the end of the Pleistocene epoch. It was a time of great geological change. The earth was cooler, and these giant sheets of ice between uh, 1,500 and 5,000 feet thick advanced down here from the Arctic and gouged out huge troughs in the earth. A glacier, 5,000 feet thick. That's 10 of these. Uh, well, not, not 10 of these. Uh, uh, 10 of these. That's thick. Imagine something that big coming through here, plowing everything out of the way. It must have been amazing. Anyway, after a mere uh, thousand years, the earth warmed. The glaciers melted and salt water from the sea just, just gushed in here. Not only that, the upper elevations filled with fresh water to make places like uh, Lake Washington. Now, Puget Sound isn't just a body of water. It includes over a thousand square miles of land, too. I mean, all the way from the, the top of the Cascade Mountain Range to the top of the Olympic Mountain Range, which is, uh, which is supposed to be out there. I, I guess uh, we can't see it today. <laughs> anyway, it, it includes, you know, fresh water uh, like lakes and streams, marshes, and salt water, you know, Puget Sound and stuff, uh, the, the big body of water itself. So, so the whole thing, it's, it's, a big, it's a big ecosystem. It goes all the way to uh, Alaska and, and Canada. It's a, it's a big deal. Because all life in the area depends on this ecosystem for survival. And I'm not just talking about humans here. It turns out that the Puget Sound region has some of the most diverse groups of plants and animals found in the whole world. There are over 200 kinds of fish, 14 species of marine mammals, 31 species of waterfowl, 57 species of birds, 70 terrestrial wildlife species, and hundreds of species of shellfish, plus algae, eelgrass. Uh, it's pretty impressive. So why can all these animals live here? What makes Puget Sound unique? Well, the obvious answer is, is what? Water, that's right, water. I mean, water is so cool, you can swim in it, play with it, hose it, flush it, freeze it, fish in it, splash in it, snorkel in it, slide on it, clean with it, walk on it, ski on it, cut with it, dissolve with it, ice skate on it, cool with it, heat with it, foam milk with it, race on with it, float on it, <gasps> land on it, transport stuff on it, make coffee with it, make coffee with it, rinse with it, sponge it, a paper towel it, all that stuff. And best of all, drink it. So you're probably saying to yourself, self, how does Seattle fit into all this? Well, it's the largest city on the Sound. It's home to over half a million human beings, and another mill and a half live in the vicinity. And believe it or not, we all depend on water and this cool ecosystem for the amazing quality of life we enjoy here, not to mention a few jobs. I mean, this amazing resource is what allows us to enjoy this wonderful quality of life here. Without water, I mean, the Puget Sound region w would be totally different. It would, it would be a wasteland li li like Las Vegas, for crying out loud. So now we all realize what great places Seattle and the Puget Sound region are. But we've also got to realize that there's a problem. All these people here are having an impact on the Puget Sound environment. I mean, left to itself, the water would keep pretty clean and everything would be hunky-dory. It's us for crying out loud. We're the ones that keep messing the place up. So now we're getting an idea of how important it is to keep the whole ecosystem as clean and natural as possible. Here, take a look. Sewage treatment, industrial waste, agriculture, household hazardous waste, automobiles, and street runoff, these are just some of the sources of pollution that affect the entire Puget Sound region. Now, all of these sources are related to what? To human activity. Now, every year, about 50% of the Sound's outgoing water is recycled back. That means a lot of the stuff that ends up in the Sound just hangs out there. Are you with me? Pretty neat trick, huh? <laughs> this is television. Uh, we, we can do anything here. Take that, would you? Thanks. Anyways, I'm talking about heavy metals, not Metallica, but lead and mercury. 
Also, uh, benzene rings, you know, aromatic hydrocarbons, both uh, mono and polycyclic, and the long chain ones, you know, aliphatic hydrocarbons. All that stuff's out there, and that's bad. You know, people think, hey, this is Puget Sound, man. It's like a clean environment. Not so. It turns out there's some places in Puget Sound where the fish are so toxic, you can't even eat them. Now, you know if this stuff is bad for the fish, it's certainly bad for us, okay? Get the cool idea. Uh, storm drains like this one go directly into Puget Sound. Uh, automotive waste like antifreeze and oil should be disposed of properly. Oh, okay, man. See, just one quart of oil can mess up two acres or, or like half a city block of water. I mean, that's bad. It's the kind of stuff that has no business in Puget Sound. So here's what I want you to do. Don't put anything bad into the water. Okay, no uh, fingernail polish remover, no drain openers, no lye, no phenol, no trichlorobenzene, no methyl ethyl ketone, no toilet pole cleaner, no turpentine, no paint, no paint thinners, no petroleum distillates of any kind, no candy wrappers, no cigarette butts, no old tires, no those, none of those six-pack rings. The list goes on and on, okay? Because you see, all that stuff eventually ends up in the waters of Puget Sound in Seattle. It messes up the entire ecosystem, screws up the fish and shellfish, and eventually, it comes right back in our face. So here's the big equation. A clean Puget Sound is a lot nicer than a dirty one. With a little respect and responsibility, we can keep this place from turning into something disgusting and gross. Well, I got some serious shark wrestling to do. See you around the South.